A strong show of community support today for some of Boise's newest residents. Less than a week after a 15 year old boy drowned at Quinn's Pond, Treasure Valley residents are stepping up to show the refugee family new to the Boise area that they care by attending the teen's funeral. Six on your side's Michael Severn has the story. Hundreds in Boise coming out to support a family in their time of need. Strangers attending the funeral services for 15 year old Dudone Echa. At any time, you know, we would think it very tragic and a very, very sad thing to, ha to have happen. But I am also a volunteer at the, the refugee center, and so it really hit hard there too. On July 14th, Dudone was pronounced dead after he disappeared under the waters at Quinn's Pond. The refugee from the Democratic Republic of Congo only arrived in Boise just nine days earlier after spending most of his life in a refugee camp in Malawi. Earlier in the week, Dudone's father expressed sadness, worried no one would attend his son's funeral. But Boise answered the call. We have had uh, people from many, many different faiths stepping forward to offer places for services. Um, we've had uh, so many individuals from the community, um, over 300, who donated to make the services possible and free to the family. We like to say that we are a giving, you know, church and a giving people, and this is a way of showing it. Almost $14,000 was raised to help pay for the funeral expenses. The Boise chapter of the International Rescue Committee helped the Etcha family during their time of need, organizing services in both English and Swahili. And at the beginning, they came to us saying, we don't know how to do a funeral in the United States. Tell us what to do. And we reoriented pretty quickly saying, this is your, this is your funeral. This is your space. Please tell us what you want. And I think they built a really beautiful blending of both. Michael Severin, six on your side.